We've always talked about gold prospecting and gold mining, how it starts with a gold pan and it ends with a gold pan. And right now we have got gold that is into the two, two and three hundred mesh coming out of a spot where uh, John and Alif were working. Now, there's a lot of different ways of getting things out, and I think John is really smart because of how fine this gold is, is by saving the black sands. Now, there's a lot of people that will talk about, do you save your black sands? Do you not save your black sands? Is it worth it? Is it something you just don't deal with? Now, if I'm in an area like this where I'm seeing all of this micron gold, we're talking like this ultra fine gold, I am absolutely going to save my black sands. And I'm not going to roast them. I don't do a, I don't do a chemical recovery or anything else. But what I will do is I'll save this stuff up, and I'll throw it into my rock crusher with some rat, some ceramic pucks that I've got, and let that run through there, and then break that black sand off. Black sand is a is a accumulation of small particles like that. And when you get a piece of gold that's trapped in there, you have to break that apart. You're crushing that material. It breaks that black sand up, and that little tiny particle of gold comes out. And given the size of the gold that I'm seeing in this pan right now, if you crush this material and then you have a way of working it with gravity, what you'll see is a lot of the gold as it comes together instead of just one or two small pieces. So don't spend all your day trying to chase any pieces of gold. You'll get it in the long run. And a remark was made a little while ago, just the guys talking back and forth is like, well, do we have a gold mine? And when I start thinking about this and seeing the recovery that I've seen here and given the number of buckets that they have worked, this would be almost getting at $2 per yard. So that's one of the things, if they were able to, if they had a better, more efficient way of working this material, being able to process a little bit more material in a very refined way, then yeah, you know, the little specks in the pan here, they add up very, very quickly. And when you start thinking about dollars per yard, over specs in the pan, then this is actually a gold mine. It's not Battle Mountain, but it's a gold mine. Searching for gold dust in the valley of bloodlust under the sun misunderstood.